Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Miracle Money. I post weekly and Christian videos on my channel. Let me fix the lightning really quick. There you go. Um, so I'm not going to edit this video or anything like that just because I don't want to and I just want to talk to you guys so I haven't really been on my stuff like that there's a reason for that um, I haven't been on my stuff like that is because I've been spending time with myself I've been taking myself out um, and I've been reading the Word of God and I've just been talking to God these past few days I have fell out with reading my Bible and it happens sometimes it's not right but it happens at the end of the day god knows my heart um but i wanted to come on here and just talk to you guys and not only that but share a word with you guys so as you guys know i'm a christian i am a believer of god um but i can definitely say that it, it it's hard sometimes sometimes you know i don't read my bible every day i don't read my devotions every day i don't you know do what i have i don't fill my spirit with what needs to be filled if that makes sense and i fall short of god's glory sometimes but i'm not gonna sit and say that's okay because it's not but i can definitely say that god is a forgiving god and he knows my heart he knows what i'm gonna do before i even do it um also i wanted to come on here and say like i said i haven't been recording any videos like that um because i just been in my own space i've been trying to figure out who i am um, I've been trying to figure out what I like. I've been trying to figure out what I dislike and just learning my worth and my worth is in Christ. Um, you know, I'm also going through some healing, you know, I've damaged myself, uh, these past couple of months and also I've got damaged done to me. Um, but the thing is, if I simmer on the negativity and I have these negative thoughts, that's what I'm going to attract. So I've been just trying to learn to think positive, uh, positive, and also just been trying to find the light and trying to find the good, you know, and everything. And there's always good in, you know, there's always good even in the storm. Um, and I've also been trying to just have access to God even through the storm. Um, I can definitely say that I feel blessed. I am blessed. I look blessed. I feel blessed. Um, and I'm definitely at peace with knowing that, hey, God got me. Hey, I am going to be okay. Hey, God said I am who I am. God tells his daughters and his sons to trust in him. So that's what I'm doing. I've just been trusting in him um, fully. And, you know, he's been guiding me and using me. And, y'all, I've been having so much conviction mm -hmm. with the things that I do. I guess it's because I'm drawing so close to God that it's like any little thing that I do, if it doesn't glorify him, I don't want to do it. Like recently, actually yesterday, um, I was telling my best friend, I was just like, girl, you know, I've been feeling the urge to dance. I just want to dance. I just want to, you know, I'm stressed. I'm going through a lot. I'm going through a breakup. I'm going through this and that. I damaged myself, this and that, this and that. Um, I do want to sit and say that the breakup has really nothing to do with me I mean I'm healing myself from that but it's like it's more so like 10% like not even 10 percent like 5 percent um because I'm slowly but surely getting getting over that but anyway I told her I was just like girl like you know I want to dance and stuff like that like that's basically let's just go to the bar and, and I don't, I'm not gonna drink I don't drink anymore um but I definitely want to dance and she was just like girl me too da 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 and then I went to sleep. Okay, so last night I had a sleepover with, you know, my nieces. We had a little movie night, sleepover, whatever. And um, I woke up this morning and I felt so much conviction. Like, God was telling me, like, daughter, don't go to that bar. Like, I know you're not going to drink, but that's not the scene that you want to be surrounded in. And that's not the scene that I have for you. So, you know, I texted my best friend this morning and I was just like, girl, look, like, it doesn't sit right with me that, you know, we're going to the bar like Thursday. I just feel like we should just maybe just go have dinner. 
you know, drink a glass of wine, catch up because we haven't hung out in so long. And she totally understood and agreed and, you know, felt the same way. And I guess the whole point of me telling you this is when you draw closer to God, the things that you used to do is not going, you're not going to have a desire to do what you used to do. You're not going to have a desire to be who you used to be. Um, and I can definitely say that a lot of the times we let our past, you know, reflect on our present as far as whatever was done and damaged in our past, we kind of reflect that onto what we battle with now. Like, for instance, I used to party. I used to, I wasn't a partier like that, but I used to drink and go to bars and have fun and hang out with friends and stuff like that. And now I just don't have a desire to even be surrounded by all that. You know what I mean? I don't, I have no desire to do what I used to do. And also like the things that I'm battling with, those are battles from my past. Does that make sense? So a lot of the times we kind of let our past reflect our present and we tend to battle with that. Um, but I definitely, you know, not only want to encourage myself, but encourage you guys that, you know, God is with you and he is never going to leave you nor forsake you. And once you draw closer and seek God for who he truly is and the power that he withhold okay he is going to break down shackles that need to be broken okay he is going to break down storm holds that need to be broken down and when i mean storm holds those are storms that we in our mind we create for ourselves and that's what the enemy wants he wants us to have these negative thoughts he wants us to be surrounded by people that we don't need to be surrounded by you know what i mean so when you seek God, actually read your Bible and get to know who he is and get to know the father and get to know the power that we he withhold and get to know how much he unconditionally love you. Let me tell you, people of this world will break, break, break your trust, break their promises that they made to you, break up with you, break your heart, you know, all that. But let me tell you, the things of this world is not your friend because it's only temporarily happiness. And nine times out of the 10, nine times out of 10, people of this world are not even happy. You see on social media, people living fast lives or living lives that, you know, they supposedly live, but behind closed doors, they're not even that happy. But I guess the whole point of this video is to really just not encourage if it's not encouraging somebody, it's encouraging at least one body, okay? And I just wanted to do this video because I love God. I want to continue to share the, the word of God. And I know that, you know, I'm going through some stuff. But the thing is, I'm at peace with everything that I'm going through. Like, I can smile. I can actually genuine smile, genuinely smile. And, you know, I have my moments of crying. I have my moments of breaking down. But honestly, I'm, I'm happy. I'm genuinely happy. And that's what I want for myself. And I want that for whoever's looking at this video, okay? I pray for each and every person that's looking at this video, um, y'all. And, and let me tell you something. Prayer really, really works if you believe it. Even if you have faith of a size of a mustard seed, it's still faith. But I just wanted to encourage at least somebody. But I hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a blessed day. I love you guys. And I am growing, you guys. I gained 125 subscribers. I love you guys. And I thank you guys. And thank you for rocking with me. Uh, not dropping me. I <laughs> just get it. <laughs> okay, let me stop. That was cheesy. Okay, but I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next one.